everybody. This is Random Scammer 16. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Alan, the officer from Medical Alert Company. How are you doing today? I'm good, Alan. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. Your number is being nominated to get you a medical alert system, uh, which you can wear this around your neck like a necklace. Oh, you can wear this around your hand like a bracelet. Okay. And in case you fall down and you get yourself injured or you had an accident or if there's any fire or any kind of burglary, you push the button on the necklace that you wear. Burglary? Out of base, send you the pattern out okay. of the first seven did, seconds to save your life. Did you, okay? did you say burglary? The medical alert system. Yeah, but you said burglary. What's burglary? I know what falling down is. What's burglary? No Google Eats, medical alert system. Yeah, you said that, but you also said that this would keep me safe if there was a boogery. No, no, no boogery, it's a degree. Oh, okay. So what do you want, the degree or the boogery? Uh, whatever you recommend. I'll send you the necklace, okay? Okay. So I'll send you the, you gotta pay a dollar a day, $29.95. Uh, so all right, now. all right. Is it a nice necklace? All right, it's a wonderful one. Okay. So I wanted to do. I want you to grab all your checkbook and let me know how does your name appear on your check or your card. Oh, uh, well, I can tell you right off. It's uh, it's Rick Rickenbacker. Rick Rickenbacker. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and uh, what is the expiration date on it? In my checkbook. Yeah. Well, checkbook doesn't have an expiration date. Not a checkbook. A routing number at the bottom of the check. Well, don't get all excited with me, Alan. You're the one that said checkbook and then expiration date. Which one do you want? Expiration on uh, uh, the expiration date would be on your card, and the checkbook routing number would be on the check. I, I I'm aware of that, Alan. But see, you're the guy. Well, whatever that, then you can get any one of them. So I should not uh, you should not ask me any silly questions. Silly questions? That's not a silly question. That's a perfectly normal. Yeah, question. Exact, exactly right. That's the reason I told you. Read me the routing number from the bottom of the check. Read you the routing number is not what you said. You said give me the expiration date. You said it, not yeah, me. Yeah, expiration date would be on your card, and you should have told me the expiration date is on the card, not on the check. I did tell you that. Yeah, so that's the reason I told you when the expiration date will be on the card. So you know, you know that expiration date always is on the card. It's not on the check. So you should not ask me that. Why you ask me the check? That make a lot of sense, Alan. Did you get a bunch of sleep last night? You sound tired. Yeah, you should not ask me silly questions. You should have, when I told you to read me the expiration date, you're saying that you you want the expiration date on the check. I didn't tell you to get the check. I don't to get it. Check all the card, any one of them. Yeah, you're talking too fast now, Alan. I, I didn't really understand any of that. So when I tell you to get a checkbook, it doesn't matter. You get a checkbook and read me the routing number. Come on. Come on? Give you the routing number off my check? Yeah. Oh, come on. Hey, man, if okay, you can read me the... Have you ever seen the expiration date on the card? Then? Come on. Oh, sure. That's a zero one two three, it's January of twenty 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 three. January twenty three. And read me the sixteen digit number on the face of the card. The sixteen digit number. All right. The numbers are small, but they're forty one twenty three. Forty five sixty seven. Eight nine one zero. One 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 two. Okay, uh, the first, uh, just a moment, uh, the first number that you gave me was, what was the first number? It was four. Yeah, the first four numbers, what are the first four numbers? Didn't you write them down when I gave them to you the first time? No, no, there was a mistake. I, could, I couldn't write it down because my numbers uh, were not uh, writing, so I'll appreciate it. You can write it down once again. Your numbers were not writing? Yeah, it was not typing in my system. Oh, typing, just... typing. See, that's the thing. You got to have a pencil and a paper handy, and then you write this stuff down. And then if it's if okay. something's wrong with your computer, then you just read it back off the page. Right, right. So can you just let me know what is the first four numbers? I just it's forty one twenty three. Oh, okay. The six, the second four numbers. Uh, I'll give you the second four numbers. Yeah. Did you write the first four numbers down just in case, or is your is your keyboard working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next four numbers, 45, 67. Uh, the third numbers? 8, 9, 1, 0. 
And the last four uh, one, 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 two. Uh, three ones and one a, and a two, correct? Well, one one, another one, and then another one, and then a two. Okay. So it's 41, 20. I'm going to read out the numbers to you and you correct me if I go wrong. Okay? Yes, yes. 41, 23. Yes. 45, 67. Mm -hmm. 89, 10. Yeah. And it's 1, 1, 1, 2. That's correct. That's that's exactly right. Okay. And uh, there's a mistake in the number. It's coming in valid. Yeah, see, that's the right number, I'm sure, but it's 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You ever seen any of my uh, videos on the YouTube channel that I put together? Uh, you, have you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's bitching. I make fun of phone scammers that try to get me to give them their freaking credit card numbers and stuff like that. I just oh, right, them. okay. So, so what is the name of it uh, on your YouTube channel? It's Rick Rickenbacker Music. And, uh, and Bunny music. Yeah, you'll be up there in a week. And and you'll you'll be up there in a week or so because I gave you this special credit card number so many times and you just totally blew it. All the characters of the credit card, all all good shit. Uh, one more time there, Alan. All the character cards, the characters of the good shit. Yeah, yeah, you're making a lot of sense today. Uh, just out of curiosity, why don't you get a job? I mean, like being a phone yeah, scammer. That, that, that's wonderful, and that character card number that you gave me, all good shit. Ah, uh, yeah, again, you're just talking gibberish on this end. Why don't you get a job and stop stealing from people? Being a scammer is like the lowest you form of life. You know, we're not scammers. You're saving people's lives. You understand that? You are saving people's lives? The way you think. The way you think that is, you think that, you know, you're not saving people's lives. That is the way you think. But there are millions of people who have been saving their lives, not like you. I don't, you don't, you don't know you what think I think. You think each and every person is a scammer, so that's the way you think. I know that you're a scammer. There are many I don't, people who don't think in that way and they save their lives. I don't think. No, 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 no. You're full of shit. You're a liar and a thief. You're like the lowest form oh, of life. You think that I'm a liar and thief? You I know. You go and see the ticket out of being saving millions of people alive and that's you, nothing you're in not, disguise. You're not saving anybody's lives. It's like things in disguise. Do you know about, about it? No, no, no. You're lying. You don't know you're, about it. You're okay? wrong. That's the way you think. The way you think. There are people around. There are many people around who want to have it. And you're a negative person who don't want to have it, and then you call us a scammer. That's wrong, absolutely wrong. No, I don't think so. Anybody that calls anybody on the telephone and asks them for their credit card numbers is a thief. Yeah, hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm calling you from Medical Alert. Do you have the Medical Alert device? No, I do not. Yes, your number has been nominated to receive one. So what oh. do you prefer to have, the necklace or the bracelet? Uh, w I don't know. Which one would you recommend? I'm sorry? Which one would you would you recommend? I'll recommend the necklace. Okay, I'll have the necklace then. All right, so I will be activating the necklace for you, and I will ship it out in the next five or seven working day. Okay. And I believe that you know how the medical alert device works for you, right? Uh, isn't there a button on it or something? I'm sorry? Is there a button on it? Do you press a button? Yes. Yeah. And you get the immediate help right away on your doorstep. Okay. So I will be asking some qualifying questions to you, like do you have any medical conditions, like high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attacks? No, nothing like that. All right. And do you use any mobility device like a wheelchair, or cane, or the walker? Uh, I, I use the lawnmower as a walker once in a while, but not around the house. Okay, and do you live by yourself, or you live with someone? No, I live by myself. All right, and as I told you that your number has been nominated to receive the medical alert device, so the device is coming to you that is totally free to use it. There is no installation fee, no tax, no shipping and handling. Okay. This whole thing will be taken care of by the company itself. All right. But the only thing, but the only thing that will be taken care of from your end, that is your own monthly monitoring fee, and that will be just a dollar a day. Okay. All of the charges will be taken care of by the company. All right. Okay. All right. So just verify your first and last name. 
Well, my, my first name's Bam. My last name's Boozler. Lawson from the Department of Visa and MasterCard. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, I'm going to transfer this call to a qualified desk specialist, and they will provide you some more information about the program. Okay. Hi. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Hi. I'm also fine, sir. Thank you very much for asking. Did you hear the message regarding data elimination, right? Uh, yes, I, I don't know all the details, but uh, if this is a program that I am uh, can sign up for, I, I'm very interested. Okay, so this is National Debt Relief, sir. Basically, you are qualified for this program because of your good payment industry. Every month you pay the bills on time, right? Yeah, sometimes I pay a little more when I can. Yes, but this call is initiated to you by two major credit bureau Experian, Aquafi, TransUnion, sir. Okay. So we see from uh, you see your profile from last couple of years, couple of months. You always pay the bill. The main the important thing, sir, is that bank and the major credit bureau Experian have lost more than thirty-five thousand customer because of paying higher interest rates, sir. Even almost customer file a bankruptcy because of COVID. A lot of customer lose their jobs because of unemployment, sir. A banks oh. have lost more than twenty-five thousand customer. Okay. In the COVID, you must understand. There are a lot of customers lose their jobs, so they have no money to pay the balance. Did you now, say? Now, bank and Experian. You, uh, did you say Experian and TransUnion are losing yeah, major, customers? Yeah, major credit bureau Experian, TransUnion. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. And like banks have lost the, the customer because of paying higher interest rate. So now, bank and Experian have become with the program. That is called debt elimination. Just only those customers who have been paying the bills on time who try to pay more than the minimum. So you always pay the bill, sir. You try to pay more than the minimum, right? Yeah, I try to pay more when I can, yeah. So you have more than one credit card. So which credit card right now you owe the most, sir? I uh, know. I've just got one right now, and it's a Weezer. Oh, you have other, the other one is your debit card, I think, yes. Perfectly. So now we are simply going to pay off the balance. We are going to simply eliminate the balance on the Visa card. What do you think? How much do you owe on this card? Oh, Can actually, you have any idea? I'm actually. I was just about to make a payment right now. I got my bill in front of me. I owe. Uh, let's see. It's four thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars and eighty-nine cents. Okay. And what is the minimum payment? Like when you made the last payment? Oh, I made a payment about three and a half weeks ago. Three and a half weeks ago. And to which bank you are using this account? I got it right through my local West Wisconsin Credit Union. Oh, that's your Credit Union Visa card. And what is the limit on this card, the credit limit? Oh, I don't know. $15,000 or something? I, I'm not sure. Twelve or $15,000? Okay. Okay. No problem. Now, let me go ahead and complete your profile, sir. When does the card expire? Oh, hang on here. Let me look at this thing. I got it right here on the table. I know the card's good because I just bought a waffle maker yesterday. It was a waffle maker and donut. I know, sir. I know, sir. I know the credit card is good. Yeah. The credit card is not expected. I will defeat your file. What? I know the thing is good. What? I will simply complete your profile to remove your balance from your credit report. Okay. So what is the expiration date in the card? Oh, well, yeah, I was getting that for you, but then you started talking about all that other stuff. I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, the expiration date is January of 2023. Perfect. And the numbers are starting with number four. Let's see here. These numbers are so small, i got to tell you, Bob, but uh, looks like 4123, 4567, 8910, one 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 two. One 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 two. That's right, Bob. Okay, again I'm gonna repeat, I think you have missed some number. No. Again I'm going to repeat the number. Okay. If I'm wrong you correct me. Okay. Four one 
two, three. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Eight, nine, one, zero. Yep. One, 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 two. That's correct. This number is not matching in my system. Be honest, sir. I think you let me check it again here. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm what? sure it works. I, I'm sure it works. I just ordered a, this donut fryer. A waffle maker and donut fryer combo, and they wouldn't be sending me a donut fryer or a waffle maker if the card wasn't good. So I know that. I mean, it was just yesterday. Okay, let me check it. Then. No problem. Just give me a moment. I will check it for you. Not yeah. Sure, not much. Sure you'll see. Right you'll there. see right on there. You when it pops up, it's the Benford Five Thousand combination waffle maker and donut fryer. It's like 18 square feet of waffle making ability. And you can fry up to like 75 or 80 donuts at a time. This is not from United States. What? This is your Turkey card. What? The credit card. What? This is not from Credit Union card. Thank you. Have you seen my uh, my YouTube channel at all where I harass phone scammers? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, come on. I keep talking to me, scammer. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, hi, this is Alan Cooper with the Spectrum. How are you doing today? Alan with Spectrum, I'm good. How are you? I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. This is just a feedback and promotional call to you. So do you have any kind of problem with your services? Uh, not really. And one more thing, sir. What's about your monthly bill of Spectrum? Like, are you happy with them or is it pretty high for you? Not high at all. I'm not even a Spectrum customer, so I don't even get bills. Uh, totally affordable. Okay. Which is your current provider? Current provider for what? Uh, I know that your con current provider, which you transfer your connection of landline and internet services. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. My connection for landline and what? My provider for what? Because I give you some discount if you maybe give... Discount for what? Uh, this is for company running promotion. Okay. Which company? And uh, Spectrum. Okay. Charter Spectrum. All right. And... Uh, are you there? I'm here, man. Are you there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Complete running up promotions, and uh, you have a chance to lower down your monthly bill. Lower down what monthly bill? Which which monthly bill would I be lowering down? Uh, monthly bill of uh, Charter Spectrum. Okay, I, see, I'm, I'm not a Charter Spectrum customer. I don't get a bill from them. So okay, it's all, it's which is your current provider? I see. It's already at zero. Which is your my provider for okay. what? What provider? Which one? Yeah. How much pay for it monthly? Pay for what? Hello? Hello, this is Sarah from Discover. I am calling in regards to rate expiration. Card services of what are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? That's great. Are you responding for the lower rates on your credit card? Uh, yes, that's possible. That would be fantastic. Yes, sir. And it shows me over here from past six to eight months as being a good consumer, you pay your bills on time. Never missed any payment. Yeah, and sometimes, sometimes I even more. try to pay a little bit more when I can. Yes, sir, that's what I'm saying. You pay your bills on time. Most of the time you try to pay more. That is the only reason your good payment history and your good credibility. Today you are eligible for the lower interest rate, okay? Okay. Perfect. Now, first of all, for the qualification purposes, how much do you own your credit card, roughly? Oh, I okay, guess, sir. Well, I was just about to make a payment. I've got the the bill right here. Um, my balance is uh, four thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars and eighty-nine cents. 
and which card is that? That's a Visa. Visa card from what bank to which lending institution do you got that Visa? It's through my local credit union here. It's the West Wisconsin Credit Union. All right, sir. Now, all you need to make sure from your side that your card is not expired for the services. I want you to grab your card and reconfirm it with the expiration date, the month, and the year. When does that expire? Oh, let me let me pull that out here. I've got that here in my pocket. Uh, I can tell you the card is good, though. I just bought a toaster oven yesterday. Um, it should be delivered here in the next couple of days, and I don't know if you're in the market for a toaster oven, but the Spinford 5000 is a fantastic dealer. There's 650 bucks for free shipping, so you, uh, man, if you're looking for one, these things are awesome. What's the expiration date you see on it? Okay, the expiration date is uh, January of 2023. Thank you. And the card number, starting with number four? Well, let's see here. It's uh, 4123, 4567-8910-1112. You'll see when you pop open my account, you'll see that toaster oven, the purchase for it yesterday. It was the Benford 5000 Toastomatic, and it had the, repeat, it had the, uh, you repeat the number one. Sir, yeah. sir, yeah. shut yeah. the fuck up. You shut the fuck, shut fuck up, up all right. Yeah. Scammer. Oh, shit, God you, damn you're it. going on my... Hi, this is Alex from Bank of America calling about your existing credit card, Bank of America, offering 0% interest rate on your existing credit card to check your eligibility. Press 1. Thank you for responding. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Too. Thanks for asking. And I believe you are responding for lower rates on your credit cards, correct? Oh, yes. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Okay. Now, I can see over here you are a multiple credit card holder. So for the qualification purposes, on which credit card do you think you owe the most right now? Oh, i am just got one card. It's a Visa. It's a Visa. And it's your Chase? No, it's a Visa. Through which bank? Uh, it's through my local credit union here in Wisconsin. It's your credit union Visa card, okay. And do you have any idea how much you own your Visa card right now? I need to get any idea. Oh, I know that right here. In fact, I was just about to make a payment. I've got the bill. Hang on. It's right here. It's uh, $4,557.89. Okay, so as the next step, so what's going to happen, I will go ahead and pull out the billing statements for your credit union visa card from my database. I will let you know that how much you exactly owe. What was the last payment you made and the new payments required on you? And according to your balance details, I will let you know what is the new interest rate you are getting today, okay? Okay. So in order to pull out the billing statements for your Visa card, so first of all, I want to make sure that the card we are working on that is not expired, that is still valid for the services. So for the verification, verify the expiration date on the card, the month and the year. Make sure only the month and the year. Oh, I, I know it's still good. Here, let me get it. Uh, I know it's good, though, because I just bought a toaster oven. Uh, two days ago, I ordered a Binford 5000 Toastomatic toaster oven with a blue... Okay, can you verify me the expiration date on the card? Oh, yeah, I'm digging it out. I'm digging it out right now, Bob. Hang on. But as soon as you pull up my account, you'll see that I just bought this toaster oven. It had the pizza rotisserie attachment and the Bluetooth. It's a, fi it's a great toaster oven. It was on sale. Okay, I got my card. Uh, the, the expiration date is uh, uh, January of 2023. Yeah, oh, okay, perfect. And I can see over here that the card number for this credit card starts with number four. Are you holding the same credit card? Yeah, I got it right here, Bob. To so make sure, sir, you did not cut the card. You did not shut the card for any reason. Your credit card is in one piece, and you are the primary signer of the card. So what? for the verification, verify the number of the four. Did you, Bob, did you say don't shred my card? Yeah, uh, in any case, you, your credit card is in one piece. To make sure your credit card is in one piece and you are the primary signer of the card. So for oh, the verification, it. verify the number of the four. Shredder. It's that's fine. good, sir. That's good. That's good. So for the verifications, we're fine with the numbers out of four. Uh, the number, hang on here, they're very small. Uh, but it looks like the number is 4123. 
4567-8910-1112. You pop that open, you'll see that Binford toaster oven there. And now, I don't know if you're looking for a toaster oven or not, but I'm here to tell you, they're blowing these things off for $349, and it's a great deal. You should get one. So you, this is your credit card? Yeah, it's a credit card. I just bought the toaster oven. I know it works. Okay. So this is your credit card number, correct? That's correct. Do you have a credit card handy on you right now? Hey, have you seen yourself on my YouTube channel yet? You can. You can. You, do you have a credit card handy on you right now? I said, have you seen yourself on my YouTube channel yet? You can. You can. You can. You, you can. 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 Dear, no, I, no, I, you can, you can, you, no, I, you can, you can, you, no, I, no, I, no, I.